Welcome to Electron Online. In this video, we're going to find the centroid, the x coordinate of the centroid of the semi ellipsoid here. So imagine this is an ellipse, like kind of a shape of a football, and uh, an American football that is. And uh, we have a half of that, and we're going to find the centroid, the x coordinate centroid, which would be probably about here. So that's the distance we're looking for. And what we do to find it is we take a small little slice, and that will give us a small little dv. And the centroid of that slice is right there in the middle of the slice, of course, and that's easy to find. That's the distance x away from the origin. The little slice can be illustrated like this. Notice that the dv can be found by taking the area of that, and the height of that slice would be equal to y. So that would be equal to y, or let me write it like this, pi y squared times the thickness, and the thickness is a small little dx, so times dx, that's a small little volume. And we know that we can find the x-coordinate of the centroid by taking the integral of the x-coordinate of the centroid, the small little slice, times the volume of that little slice, and integrating it from 0 to h. So the limits of integration will be from 0 to h, and then we divide that by the integral from 0 to h of dv, which gives us the volume of the semi-ellipsoid. We know that the volume of an ellipsoid is very similar to the volume of a sphere. Instead of using 4 thirds pi r cubed, we have 4 thirds pi a squared times h. We can go ahead and plug that into the denominator. For the numerator, we get the following. This is equal to the integral of, from 0 to h of x times dv, and dv is pi y squared dx divided by the volume of a semi-ellipsoid, which is one-half the volume of a whole ellipsoid, which is four-thirds pi a squared times h. Notice that a is the radius at the center, and h is the height or the distance from the center to the tip of the ellipsoid. Oop, and I want to close the parentheses there. Now, of course, we have a dx here and a y squared. We want to express the y squared in terms of x, and we must use the equation of an ellipse to accomplish that. So we need to solve this for y squared. That means we have y squared divided by a squared is equal to 1 minus x squared over h squared. Multiplying both sides by a squared, we get y squared is equal to a squared times 1 minus x squared over h squared. And we want to probably write that slightly differently. We want to put that over the common denominator. So this can also be written as a squared over h squared times h squared minus x squared. Writing it like that makes it a little bit easier to integrate. So we plug that in for y squared right here. We get this is equal to the integral from 0 to h of pi can be taken outside the integral sign. We have an x times the y squared, which is a squared over h squared times the quantity h squared minus x squared, and then times dx divided by and here we get one half of that, that would be two thirds pi a squared times h. Now notice we have a pi and a pi here, that cancels out. We have an h squared and an h a squared, that cancels out. And we bring the h squared to the denominator and make that h cubed in the denominator. So we'll go ahead and do that in the next step. The x coordinate of the centroid therefore becomes, uh, we're going to multiply x times this, that gives us the integral from zero to h of x times h squared minus x cubed, all multiplied times dx. And in the denominator, we now are going to get uh, the h squared is going to come down. That gives us 2 thirds h cubed. And let's make that a better looking 3. There we go. Now we're ready to integrate. The first becomes, uh, that would be x squared h squared over 2 minus x to the fourth over four, evaluated from zero to h in the denominator, we still have two thirds h cubed. Plug in the upper limit, because we don't have to plug in the lower limit, we get zero. Plug in the upper limit, we get h squared times h squared divided by two minus h to the fourth divided by four, and the whole thing divided by two thirds h cubed. Now you see that we have h to the fourth over two and h to the fourth over four. This becomes h to the fourth over four divided by two thirds h cubed. 
So h cubed cancels out with h to the fourth. That leaves us with h to the fourth, h divided by four. Divide by two thirds the same as multiplying by three over two. And the h cubed is gone, which eventually leaves us with three h over eight as the final answer. That is the distance from the center, from the origin here, to the centroid of that semi-ellipsoid. So this here is equal to 3h over 8. That's the answer we were looking for. That is the x-coordinate of the centroid of a semi-ellipsoid. And that's how it's done.